Yo, Harlem Storm on the set again. It ain't all good and it damn sure ain't all easy. Bringing you urban and prison stories from a female point of view. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know the next time I'm going to bring you some real jewels from the street. Also, I'm having a giveaway, okay? My album, which by Harlem Storm on all major platforms, the first 10 people that give me their review in the comment section will be getting a free Suicide Dogs Production Company hoodie and some stickers. I'm working on getting the stickers. And that's the, uh, the pit bull in the high-tech electric chair that you see on my intro. So those are the hoodies that y'all get, okay, for reviewing my album. Went up to Harlem the other day, was in the projects up there on 25th. Okay, um, I decided to go to my old stomping grounds around there, you know, on Foster Grant projects over there around Hunt 16th, Hunt 15th, Hunt 14th, you know, on the east side. And it brought back so many memories about how I started, you know, running around Harlem and being a little baddie. And how the OGs would, you know, drop jewels and teach me a few little pointers here and there. <laughs> you know, in those days, it was really super easy to get, you know, plugs. You know, it was like Harlem, you know, really looked out for Harlem. And uh, some of the best hustlers actually came from the South, came from North Carolina, uh Tennessee, uh, you know, uh, Atlanta, a lot, a lot of the Southern states. Okay. Cause a lot of them had originally started out as pimps, pimps, hustlers, till tappers for y'all that don't know what till tapping is. That's when you do a little finagling and a little fugazi with the, uh, cash register while you're actually speaking to the cashier. The word is, when it comes to Alpo's wife, okay, which a lot of people, you know, have no idea what who her identity is, and I guess she's probably trying to protect her identity, okay? But the word is, is that she was there when he was arrested back in the day before he started serving his sentence. I think he was... I think Alpo was like 25 or 26 when he when he originally got arrested um, and she was there. Um, and the word is, is that she's just totally devastated. That was like the love of her life. Uh, she was with him probably all her life since a kid, you know, probably because he was 25 at the time. So she was probably somewhere around the same age. I'm speculating, you know. But the word is that she's totally devastated and that, uh, you know, people are, you know, wanting to know what what she thinks, you know, what's going on in her mind about the whole Alpo situation, you know. Uh, but I'm going to stay on that, you know, because uh, she could probably tell, you know, the world a few good things, bad things, indifferent, I don't know. But since that was the love of her life, she probably has some some good things or some good qualities that she could let the world know that Alpo had, you know, because as of now, they look at him as, you know, dope dealer, killer, snitch, you know, and uh, I'm sure that uh, she knew probably another side of him. So the word is, is that she is totally, totally devastated and the world wants to know more info from her. I'll keep y'all posted, okay? Until this is Harlem Storm. It ain't all good and it damn sure ain't all easy.